Good morning, Bayside. Um, welcome to our demo on jam drops this morning. It's a lovely little treat that you can make for your family um, for morning tea or afternoon tea or just whenever you would like. So we've measured out all our ingredients. Um, I'll quickly run through what we've got so that you um, know what we're working with. So we have 125 grams of soft butter in our bowl ready to be mixed with some sugar and vanilla essence. It's half a cup of caster sugar and a, table, a teaspoon sorry, of vanilla essence. We'll combine those with the butter until nice and creamy and then we'll add the egg, mix that through, add our cup and a quarter of flour, just make sure we sift that in nicely, mix it all together and then we're going to form our little um, biscuits. Um, and after we formed it, we'll put the jam in the center of that, but we'll show you how to do it. Um, Miss Florida is here as well. Hi guys! <laughs> She's going to come in and help me to do the rolling just to save some time in the day. Alright, let's start. Okay, so we'll first have to soften the butter, so we'll just add our sugar to it. Um, just make sure your butter is on room temperature, otherwise it's really hard to, to soften the butter. Um, just need to switch it off. There we go. If you struggle and the bowl moves around, please use a tea towel that's rolled up and angle your bowl so you can get into the corner. Um, Alright, so we've beaten up our butter into a cream consistency. So guys, this is not cream that you buy from the store. Remember, this is just, the texture looks like a whipped cream, is that right? Yeah, yeah, it looks like whipped cream and it's got the sugar sort of started to dissolve in there. That's right. And you put the vanilla in too. I've put the vanilla essence now, in there. Now, if someone didn't have um, caster sugar, so white sugar, could you use, the caster sugar is like a fine yes. sort of grain, you could use normal sugar. That's right. Or could you use brown sugar? It would probably just change the colour of the, the colour of your biscuit will just be a little bit darker, but it won't affect the taste at all. So, so you can substitute with any sugar, that's right. Yep. And um, when you bake, there's different ways of treating your butter. So we've creamed the butter and then there's, you can melt your butter and um, rub the butter in. So mm. all those different techniques give you a different outcome at the end of your bake. So um, you want soft creamy texture for your um, jam jobs yep. and that's why we've used this technique. And if someone um, couldn't have butter, could they swap for um, nuts or legs or something else like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna crack your yes, well, thank you. We can um, use any fat, like butter, margarine, anything that you actually have in the fridge. Yep. Um, texture will maybe change a little bit, but not enough for a normal consumer to actually okay. taste the difference. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'll let you um, electric mix that in. There we go. So we've added the egg and we're just going to beat the egg through the butter. Alright, so we've just added our egg into our mixture there. Um, I think that's the most important part of this whole bake. That and then we're going to add our flour. So we need to sift the flour into our um, mixture. Mm -hmm. We usually sift the flour to add air into it. Remember we've added creaminess with our butter and we're going to add air into our um, flour here and it's to make it nice and smooth and take all the lumps out. So it's worth spending the time sifting? Yes, I would, I would think so, especially for small little biscuits. Yep. Um, baking is more of a science, so I would follow the recipe when I bake. Um, if you just cook a meal, you can add a little bit here and there. But with baking, it's very important to follow each step. Right, so, are you go. going to use the electric mixer for this, or do you just use the I'm spatula? I'm just going to use the spatula. Okay. Um, you don't want to overbeat your flour into your mixture. Mm -hmm. um, it will take out all the air again. So, we just spend some time to incorporate air, and you don't want to take away that so, air. Anzacs are quite delicate, uh, sorry, jam drops are quite delicate little biscuits, aren't they? Quite a buttery, um, short biscuit, I think we refer right. to it yes. as that. Um, so we do need to be a little bit careful with them. Yes. So, and when we're rolling them, so we'll get to rolling them in a little bit, I guess we've got cold butter in there or room temperature butter. 
if we get our really warm hands on them, we're just going to melt that butter after that. So I guess these are probably not good biscuits to make in summer. No. <laughs> or in a hot room, you know. Yeah, okay. Make sure your room, your windows are open and you've got some air flowing through. So and this time of year is quite good. Yeah. <laughs> and if you feel like the butter is melting in your hand, just put your mixture in the uh, fridge for a little bit. Yep. So that it comes together again and then um, go on with the rolling. And I can see that that's it's coming to get quite a good dough. There's still, you've still got a little like another minute of mixing I reckon. Yeah. But quite soft, very pale mixture. Um, but there we go. Yeah, we're that's getting there. Oh, that's good. We'll just show you what we have in mind. Just put it all together nicely. There we go. There we go. That's our mixture. Good. So um, that's basically what you have to do. So while you clean up and prep your um, area for actually forming your biscuits, you can put it in the fridge if it's a really hot mm -hmm. day. So how big are you thinking? Like there, are, you can make the biscuits variety of sizes, right? Yes. Um, I like a nice, maybe a bite size or not more than two bites for a biscuit. Mm, yeah, um, especially if we're thinking high tea. That's, that's right. sort of our unit. High tea, you'd have little things, that's right? That's right. So yes. I guess sometimes you see them at cafes and they're huge and, no, you know, they're... We, no, oh, not today. No. <laughs> if that's what you want to do at home, go for it. Yes. But we're going to try and make little tiny delicate sort of biscuits. That's right. So, um... Are we going to start rolling? I, I think, think we start. Don't need anything more? To, um, I think ours are quite good. So what's that? I'm going to oh, look. I'm going to try with this. So yes. we've got a flat tablespoon. That's just a normal um, tablespoon. I've washed my hands. And I'm going to give try giving this a roll. So sometimes, look, that's actually rolled really that's nicely. Really cool. um, sometimes you find that your hands get really sticky. So um, sometimes you can put a little bit of flour on your hands okay. to sort of stop, or sometimes I find um, wetting my hands with just tap water, washing them off, getting all the like build up off, and then um, just using wet hands seems to work fine. Good. But the, the trick that I always find is I get impatient and I make biscuits. Bigger, bigger. I, yeah, yeah. I, I make too big a biscuit, but they, I also put them too close to each other. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. And then we end up with like jam drop slice. Which isn't quite what as what we want. <laughs> so, <laughs> not more than what would you say? Two, two next to each other? Yeah, I reckon two. Oh, no, I it depends I'm... on the size of your tray as well. We've yeah. got smaller trays. You've got, so you've got a small tray. I'm making mine slightly bigger, but it doesn't really okay. matter. We'll just be consistent on our trays. Okay. Um, because on one tray, you want all your biscuits to be the same size. That's right. Even if you've got a slightly smaller one, I've got a slightly bigger one. It doesn't really matter as long as they're consistent, right? That's right. Yeah. You will. I mean, if you get someone at home to help you to do this, just give them nice instructions, show them one or two, and then um, let them help you if you want so someone to help. So if you had younger siblings in your house, this could be a really great thing that you could get their help with. Yeah. Hmm, that sounds fun. All right, so I've got six here, and we've obviously got, I don't know how many of this mixture is going to make, but I think it's going to make quite a lot. If you didn't want to cook them all at once, I reckon this would freeze pretty well. Yes. So roll them into balls and then freeze, freeze them. them. Um, if, if you roll them into balls and you want to freeze them, freeze them individually and then put mm. them into a bag. Yeah. Otherwise they're going to stick to each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's really handy too. Yes. And I probably wouldn't put the jam on. No. So you <laughs> roll them, freeze them, put them in the... And it takes 10 or, 20, uh, 10 or 15 minutes to, to cook. So you just put it on the tray, defrost it and pop it in the oven and put fresh Yeah, in. that's nice. Oh, that's now with this, we need to put the jam on. So I, usually what I do is push down with my thumb. Is yep. that what you do? Yeah. So I, I'm going to probably push the biscuit down with a few fingers and then make a little oh. divot with my thumb or my finger to make, to be where the jam like little, sort of... Like a little... Little bowl. Um, yeah, so the jam's kind of got, you get a nice bite of jam in the middle. So you could, if you don't like fingers touching, you could use the end of a spoon or uh, a teaspoon, the spoon, back yeah. of a spoon. So if you do this with your spoon, you can press it down. Yeah. But just be careful, that can happen. Sometimes you see it with a fork, fork yes. lines over the top. And if your fork or spoon is sticking, sometimes with a little bit of flour. flour. Yeah. So it's just, at this point for baking, um, trial and error is important, I guess. Yeah. Um, and sometimes things that impact this 
is the humidity of the day. That's so the right. day and all these other things. So that we have no control of. So we just have to sort of play with the Improvise elements. Improvise with what you've got. All right, I'm going to get a clean spoon into my jam. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix up so it's consistent. Okay. And I'm going to put a very, very small amount just in the middle. Because I find that with jam, and I don't know what you find is, but I find it always goes everywhere. And it yes, sort of runs. And it, it spreads because yeah. of the heat. So. Because jam is basically sugar, it sort of just um, kind of cooks the sugar. So we just have to be careful that it doesn't turn into sort of a little inferno. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Bit too much, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got strawberry jam, I think. Raspberry jam would work, apricot jam. You can basically use any kind of jam. Yeah. Would be pretty delish. You can make all different flavours if you've got different jams in the fridge already. Yeah. Try a few different ones. Yeah. Okay. So these are now going to go into the oven and for we just want to get yes. them slightly brown. I'll show you some up close. So these are going to go into the oven. How long do they go in it's for, Miss? It's 180 on your oven. Yep. In the middle rack, mm -hmm. so that you get the even heat around them for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. All right. We'll see you then. Okay, so we've baked our lovely biscuits, and we've got some beautiful colour on it. Keep an eye on your oven. Um, it's about 10 to 15 minutes. We had to take ours out a little bit earlier, but I'm sure it all depends on how long you preheat your oven. Um, if I bring the board a little bit closer, you can see it's lovely colour, a little bit of sweetness in the centre. Um, and you can serve this just as a snack, morning tea, um, and all afternoon tea with a lovely cup of tea. So enjoy your biscuits. Bye.